Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to another fabulous week of our um, Intro to Lit class, English 111. Uh, at the beginning of each week, I'm going to post a video that's going to walk you through our calendar, kind of talk to you a little bit about some of the ideas we're going to be dealing with. I'm going to try and keep them under 10 minutes so that uh, it's a good use of your time. I uh, will talk about any major assignments that are coming up. Um, if I've gotten common questions in the discussion boards or via uh, Canvas Messenger, I'll address some of those issues. Um, so this is just really a place for you to kind of check out at the beginning of each week to orient yourself, uh, to figure out what we're going to be doing, what to focus your time on, all of that good stuff. Um, as some of you may have noted during week one, um, I inherited this class somewhat last minute. Um, from a very fantastic professor named Professor Squires. She had built most of the class, um, had recorded a lot of lectures, and then um, a change in schedule needed to be made. So I got to take over this class, and I am so excited to be here with you guys and uh, getting to dig into literature together during the summer, which is a fabulous time to do it because it's beautiful. You can take a book outside and sit in a hammock and read it and enjoy it, and it'll be amazing. Um, so so happy, so excited to be teaching this class for you guys, but you may notice some overlap in names. Um, I thought I had got all of the things uh, that said Squires on them, um, but some very helpful students pointed out a couple that I had missed. So thank you. Please continue to do that. I will go in and make those changes and fix those things um, as soon as I'm notified of them, and I will continue uh, winnowing through the class to make sure that I can find all the good stuff. Uh, and you'll notice that some of the lectures are from Professor Squires. So this is a bonus. If we think about it, you get to benefit from my knowledge about literature, which is like pretty on point. Uh, I did get my master's in it and I love it. I'm a little obsessed. Um, so you get to benefit from that. And you also get to benefit from Professor Squires knowledge. So you're basically getting two professionals sharing ideas with you about the literature text. So that's a win-win. Awesome. Uh, so you'll notice sometimes that Squire is giving you a lecture and sometimes it's me giving you a lecture. Um, I'll try and create some balance in there. Most of the lectures are Squires right now, but I am, um, because it was very last minute, I am recording lectures each week for you as well. So you'll have a myriad of perspectives to work with as you're reading through the text. Uh, a great way to start your week, not only watch this little video, but also look through the announcements where it says week two instructions. Um, this will kind of show you how you might want to schedule your week. This is not written in stone. Like the readings don't have due dates. Not really. This is just one way that you can organize your time to kind of space it out so you don't have a million things to read on Friday, um, which could be fun if you have nothing else to do on Friday, but also your brain might explode from all the awesomeness. So maybe spread it out a little bit more. Um, so I've got some suggestions in here about how you might spread out the readings. This week we've got so much fun stuff. Uh, we get to read a little bit of Chandler. He's got this great piece called Cathedral that you read yesterday, maybe. Uh, and then Toni Morrison's Recitaph, just like spa. Toni Morrison is incredible. If you get a chance to read any of her stuff, she's just a brilliant, lovely, lovely human person. Uh, a good man is hard to find by O'Connor is probably my favorite of the um, Southern Gothic style, which is a fun style of writing. It's it's a little bit dark and twisty, but also it's really funny. Like it's kind of a dark, twisted sort of sense of humor um, that O'Connor has. Um, and I don't want to give anything away, but a good man is hard to find is very funny and it may involve somebody's fake leg going missing and a rapscallion of a Bible salesman and like all kinds of crazy stuff. So I hope you enjoy that. It's very fun. Short story. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, we're going to think about setting in literature and you've got a great lecture from Squires on setting and then we're going to read the yellow wallpaper. You might have read this in high school. Uh, it's a very famous text, very famous short story uh, by Gilman, and um, it's assigned a lot. So in case you didn't read it in high school, I wanted to make sure we hit it now because there's a lot of cultural references to it that would just like go over your head if you'd never read it. Um, very interesting story about how uh, women particularly were treated 
in a couple eras uh, and how like postpartum depression and stuff like that were treated. And like maybe the moral of the story is don't lock a depressed person in a room and deprive them of everything for a long time because it won't make them feel better, which is kind of funny. Uh, and then we get to bring young Goodman Brown, another fabulous, uh, <laughs> another fabulous text for us by Hawthorne. Um, sometimes this is assigned in high school too, but if it wasn't, I kind of want to start us off so that we all have this like really common foundation of short story text before we move into some of the more complex short stories and then we'll move into poetry and then we'll move into uh, drama, dramatic writing like plays and stuff like that. So lots of good stuff coming our way as we look through here. Uh, you'll notice uh, a pattern in the scheduling of this class. The friend of the week is designed for reading. However, you want to space that out as long as you read all the assigned things, you're good to go. Um, and then every Friday you'll have a quiz and every Sunday you'll have a response that you write. And that's kind of what we're doing, you know, so you can really set your schedule around that. Um, I wanted to make this really predictable because summers are often a time of maybe working extra hours at work because you've got more availability or you're taking vacations with family or something like that. I wanted to really set um, predictable schedule so you knew what was coming, you knew when it was going to be due so that you could budget your time uh, efficiently and work around things if you need to. Um, you can always turn in quizzes early, you can always turn in um, responses early, like if you know you're going camping in the woods over the weekend and you want to get it done before Friday and Sunday, absolutely always feel free. That's always an option. And you can always send me a message or post questions in the week to discussion and I'll get to those. I try and check it at least once a day so you can have a pretty good turnaround time there. Uh, as far as emails go, I try to have a 24-hour turnaround time on your emails unless it's the weekend. A uh, weekend is set aside for my family. That's that's their time. Um, and it's important to have those kind of professional boundaries and all of that for mental health and all that good stuff. So if you email me over the weekend, that might be more like 48-hour turnaround time uh, to get a response back there. So that's how this class is kind of going to go. Um, and I've got lots of links here for you. So you can also go into the modules. Everything's linked in the announcements, but it's also nice to have alternative places to find things. And so I have a folder for every single week that we are doing in class. Um, it's got your instructions, which is that announcement. There is a link to the discussion. Um, there's a little reminder about the syllabus. This was all from week one. Um, so hopefully you checked those out, particularly the act of reading, the parts of plot, and the point of view. Uh, week two, here's our instructions we just went over from the announcements. Here's the discussion. Here's the list of readings if you want to do it on your own time and you just want like a checklist of what you need to do. This list is there for you. Uh, we've got some recorded lectures this week on character and setting. Those are really important pieces to have solidified as we go into our short story reading so that um, when we use those terms to discuss in our responses or in the quizzes, we all have the same understanding of those terms. Uh, and then here's a little bit of MLA format stuff. You're going to need that for the responses, so do make sure to check that out. And then there's our quiz and our response assignments. You'll see each week is set up pretty similarly, so you know exactly where to find things. Uh, hopefully it's not too complex so that we can always access the information that we need uh, pretty quickly, which is great. Um, so always check the announcements. That's going to show you what we're doing for the week with that daily breakdown. And then check the modules for our recordings, um, additional things that might be helpful like MLA format, and links to our discussion reading quizzes and responses. Lots of great things available for you here. And I also have some links here in the corner for the library or tutoring if you ever need help with that. You know we've got a lot of great people who are standing by to help you with all that good stuff. Awesome. All right. Well, this is how those videos are going to go. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. I hope you all have a great week.